Hello freaks and geeks, my name is Whiteout. Today I'm going to be talking about how to put on latex clothing. So there's three different methods that you can use to put on latex. The first is using talcum powder, the second is using silicone lube, and the third is doing a method called chlorination. Now you need to use one of these methods because latex is a natural material. This means that it's very porous and those pores rubbing up against your skin create a lot of friction and that friction makes it really difficult to put on the gear without using one of these methods. So first off, I'm going to talk about talcum powder. Now talcum powder is really nice because it absorbs moisture. You're going to be sweating a lot in latex and that does a good job of helping to absorb the moisture, especially if you're going to be storing your gear long term. That'll help uh, prevent any mold from forming or anything like that because um, you know, any leftover moisture from either your sweat or from shining it will get absorbed by the talcum powder. Another thing is it's a very dry way of putting on your latex. So for example, if you're putting on a pair of socks. You don't want them sliding around from under your feet, but you still want a, um, an easy way to put them on. Using talcum powder for that is very nice. So a few cons of talcum powder. One, it's going to dull your shine and it's pretty messy. If you got any talcum powder on the front of your suit, uh, expect it to just dull it right away. If you sweat, it's going to have little white sweat marks that come down and leave little white stains on your suit. That's just something you got to clean up as well. And you'll probably get a thin layer of talcum powder around all your furniture and gear and stuff like that. It's just, it's a very messy way of putting on your gear. So next I'm going to talk about is silicone lube. Now silicone lube is nice because you just squirt a little on your gear, you rub it around, and you're good to go. And unlike talcum powder, silicone lube will actually shine up your latex. Also, um, it's very common. Everyone in the rubber scene should have a bottle. You can use it not just for putting on your gear, but for like play, for anything else like that. There's no reason you shouldn't own a bottle of silicone lube if you're getting into rubber. And it's my personal favorite to use. Uh, it's just very slick and very easy to put on. But there are a few cons to it. Uh, the first con is it's very sticky once it dries. Um, and it will dry within an hour or two. If you've ever used it for fucking, you know exactly that tacky, sticky feeling. The same goes for inside your suit. And I'll have to take a shower to like pull apart the latex from my skin once it does dry. Another thing is um, because it's very slippery and very slick, it could get kind of dangerous if you're using it in latex socks. Again, if you're walking down like the steps or something like that, you don't want your socks sliding out from underneath you. That can get very dangerous. And then finally, it's very messy. If I just put my hand on my desk like that, I just left like a little layer of silicone lube and pretty much all my furniture at this point has like a thin film of silicone lube on it because it's just, it's a very messy thing. Expect it to get on your furniture and all your other stuff. So just a note about the silicone lube, make sure you're getting lube that's safe for latex. I have another video about all the stuff that is very damaging for rubber. You can check that out for more information. So lastly, I'm going to talk about chlorination. Now chlorination is really interesting because you're essentially changing the molecular structure of your rubber. Now essentially what it's doing is it's filling in the pores of your rubber with chlorine ions. And I'm going to be covering this more in depth in another video, but um, essentially I'm just going to go over some of the pros and cons. Some of the pros, for one thing, it's permanent. As soon as you chlorinate your gear, you're good. You don't ever have to worry about using lube or anything like that. And another pro is there's no mess. Again, no powders, no shine everywhere. You just you slide it on like it's cotton and you're good to go. It's the easiest to put on your latex gear. And also people with a latex allergy don't seem to be affected by chlorinated gear. Again, because you're changing the molecular structure of it, it kind of makes sense that it wouldn't react the same with your body as it would just straight latex. So if you do have a latex allergy, chlorinated gear may be a good option for you. Now some cons to chlorination are, one thing, it's going to make it a lot harder to shine. Shine works by filling in those pores with um, you know, the, the various shining chemicals, and if those pores are already filled, it's going to be a lot harder to get the shine to stick. Also, it's going to weaken your rubber. Um, and it will make repairs a lot harder too, because it'll be very difficult to get the patch that you glue on to actually stick to the rubber. Also, smell and noise of rubber are reduced. A lot of people 
that, that, that sound that rubber makes when it's in contact with other rubber, that kind of turns them on a bit, and you will not get that. It'll be a very, like, clean slide. It's, it's basically, like I said, like you're wearing cotton almost. So now just a note about chlorination. If you do want to chlorinate your gear, it's best to chlorinate only new gear. As soon as you get Vivishine or Lube or something else on your gear, it's going to make it a lot harder for the chlorination to actually stick to the latex. So you want to do it only with new gear that hasn't been worn before. So now let's get to actually putting on some gear. Now I can't show putting like a, a cat suit like this on because that would involve me getting naked and that isn't YouTube appropriate apparently and I don't want to get my channel banned but I will layer some gear on top of this so you can just treat this as my skin uh, pretend I'm naked or not whatever and I'm just gonna be layering some rubber on top of this alright so we got our two pieces of gear that I'm gonna put on we got a nice little hoodie and some pants I'm gonna use the silicone lube method that's just my personal fave and it's probably the best if you want to layer up gear so you don't ruin any of the shines so let's squirt a little on there. Be very liberal. If you're feeling any tension as you're putting on your gear, it means you didn't use enough lube or talc or whatever. Now let's rub it all around there. Make sure we get a bunch in the sleeve here. And you really just want to make sure that the whole inside has a good film of uh, lube on it. And that, that'll be the best way for putting it on. And that should about do it for lubing up our first garment. So now we've got this all uh, lubed up on the inside. Now we've got to lube up our skin a little bit. So feel free to be very liberal. Rub it all over you. Alright, now we can actually put on some gear. So it should, if you apply enough lube to it, nothing's uh, too bare anywhere, you should be able to just apply it on, or slide it on. And <clears throat> you don't want to tug or pull at anything if it gets stuck. You want to just very easily glide it along. Not too bad. Hands are sticky. Ah, I can't get the zipper. There we go. <laughs> cool. All right. So gear piece number one is on. All right. Now on to the pants. Now the pants are kind of going to be like the legs of a cat suit because you're going to want to put them inside out as an easy way to lube them up. So. That's the back of them, the other side. And I'm pretty confident in that. We've got a nice little layer of lube all over these now. We can put them back 
right side in. So now, same as before with the top, we've got to lube up our legs now. So I just pull it on my hand and rub it along there. And once you're pretty confident that you got a nice layer of lube on your skin, you can uh, slip into your gear. Or if this is a full cat suit, you can start slipping into that and eventually pull it all over you. You see, look at that. Almost no effort, just slides right on. Very nice. you're able to learn something about how to actually put on gear uh, a few quick notes uh, another method that some people use to put on gear is using cornstarch probably instead of talcum powder do not use cornstarch it can actually promote a latex allergy and if you do use cornstarch please stop and do one of the three methods that I talked about uh, also, with gloves or hoods, generally speaking, you won't need to lube those up or anything. They should be really easy to just pull on your head without um, using any lube or whatever. Well, I will see you guys later. Hopefully this was a very informative video, and peace out, everyone.